hi everyone and welcome back to Vlogmas. I believe this is day 11. I'm not too sure, just check the title of the video and you'll know what day it is if I'm not right. So, short story as to why there's been no Vlogmas videos for a bit is my computer. Long story is that my computer had some sort of issue, I'm not too sure what, but I had to ooh, restore it to factory settings and I forgot to back up my Vlogmas videos. So I've been having to refilm them and re-edit them and that has just taken a really long time. So today I'm back with you to do what I believe is day 11 of Vlogmas and the topic for this video is going to be autism at Christmas. Basically, I'm just going to talk about my experiences of how autism affects me at Christmas. Again, this can only be my the experiences. I can't speak for everyone who's on the autism spectrum as well different, but that I do know a handful of other people who have had similar thoughts and feelings to mine. So one thing I'm going to touch on is just the whole idea of gifts in general and that being is that for me personally I don't like surprises like I like surprises about an hour or two after I get them but the lead up to the surprise and the actual reveal of the surprise I don't like because I get a lot of anxiety about the unknown so growing up for me like at Christmas time I'd make a list of everything that I wanted and you know I know it's going to be something on that list which is fine but like when you make a list of all really big items or your Christmas list and then things start showing up under the tree and they're small packages and you're like none of my these things from my wish list look like that so what is that under that wrapping paper like and honestly that was like one of my biggest problems every Christmas season growing up I know it sounds silly now but back when I was a kid and it was happening every year to me it was not silly it was a whole lot of anxiety. I would get sick and, and I would get sick of the more gifts that went under the tree to the point that my anxiety would keep me home from school before Christmas break and everything. And that's another thing is school. So coming up to Christmas break, you know, when you're like really young, the school's kind of take the structure away and there's like a lot of fun and games, movies in the classroom, you know, sometimes two classes, depending on the class size, might come together just to make class more fun and to me, like, I grew up expecting school to be structured, you know, the one constant no matter what day of the school year it is, that if it was a day where I had class, then it would be the same as every other day I had class, so when then they would throw stuff like that in, it would really throw me for a loop, and I wouldn't like it because school is not supposed to be like that. I mean, I do have one fond memory of Christmas celebration when I was in elementary school where the whole school would be on the PA system at the same time, so we could all hear, the other class at the office could hear us, and we would play bingo. Well, 
on the whiteboard. And the whole school would participate and there'd be, be like toys and candy and prizes, sometimes ice cream and every year in elementary school we would do that at Christmas and before March break, sometimes in June. And I think we did one other festive one, either Easter or Halloween, but we did it quite often and that is my one fond memory of, of schools not being structured when it comes to Christmas is playing that bingo. I mean, I was pretty disappointed when I went to junior high, which the second junior high I went to, which is a small school, I expected them to do it as well, and they might have done it on the elementary side, but I was really hoping they'd do it on the junior high side of the school as well, because we were so small, it wasn't so easy to do, but it never happened. And so that is another big thing for me is, is the schools. And then, like traditions, I've told you guys in another video about my traditions of like Santa Bunch seeing the lights and getting the tree on the same day as Bunch and all that. And, and again, like I live for that every year. Like that goes back to me and needing to have structure and know what to expect and all that. So, like, if bad weather was coming and it's possibly going to be canceled, or I think there's one year we missed bunch and a couple of years we missed lights due to weather, or did the light, lights a bit closer to Christmas than normal? I'm not too sure that's a long time ago, but I do remember things like that happening a couple of times, and again, that threw me in. It wasn't just that day or even that week that was ruined for me. Once that happened, the whole holiday season was ruined for me, so to speak. And that sort of leads me into something else. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I touched on this before. I could be wrong, but for me, like, there's not a whole lot of my family that I, you know, I get really excited when I know I'm going to see, like, oh my gosh, I get to spend time with so-and-so. There's not too many family members that I'm like that about. And there's even a few where it's like, do I really have to spend time with them? Not, not because I don't like them, but just more they don't understand me and my autism, so it's like, it's stressful to be around them, and if only they would understand, everything would be better, you know what I mean? And, or it could be that their place is always super crazy with lots of people, and I don't really like that, so, like, when it came to Christmas, like, everything is structured, you know, when I was growing up. Christmas Day, mornings at my mom's, and then at my dad's for the day, and then usually my grandparents after that, or they would drop by or something, you know, like, it was structure, and, like, when I went over to my dad's when I was young, like, his place was always quiet, and then we'd go to my uncle's, which was crazy compared to my dad's, not like, not super crazy, but more crazy than my dad's, and then a couple years, we went to, like, his friend's houses, or other family, or family friends that even I knew well, and in addition to who my uncles, or instead of, and, and, like, I would know ahead of time, so it wouldn't be a shock, but just the fact of my body being in that habit, like, okay, you're going to be at your dad's, it's going to be quiet, you're going to go to your uncle's, it's 
going to be a bit busier, but hey, you, you have your corner that's yours. But we know we're going to so-and-so's house after my uncle's, but wait, I've never been there before. I don't know if it's going to be busy. I don't have a corner there. So, like, even the predictable for me at Christmas is kind of stressful. And then, like, things went on with me and my dad. I'm not getting into that in this video or probably any video for that matter. But then, like, one year I just stopped going over there for Christmas. And because of that issue, I stopped seeing my uncle on Christmas. And, I mean, due to things that happened, like, it's, it was for the best that Christmas traditions changed a little. But, like, for the first two or three years, like, not just the first year, for the first two or three years after that happened, you know, like, I'd get up, do my morning with my mom, and then my brain knew that, you know, nothing was really coming after that anymore, but, like, I, my subconscious would still be mentally preparing myself for it, you know, oh, getting myself ready, starting to feel social, because, you know, I'm, my mind was like, you're going to your uncle's, you're going to have to, like, socialize with several people at a time. And I would get all ready for that, and then, then, you know, after all the presents were open at my mom's, we had breakfast, and I wasn't rushing to get ready. My subconscious would clue in, hey, wait, you're not going anywhere. And then, just the relief of not having to do all that socialization would kind of make me exhausted and sick, and... My grandparents would come over and I'd be like up in my room sleeping or reading a book because was, my body built up all that hype out of habit and it just tired me out. So that's another thing and I mean as I've gotten older all these things have become less of a problem and it's kind of funny because like when I was younger the whole aim of Christmas was like to celebrate Christmas but make it as uneventful as possible so I wouldn't have anxiety issues or anything you know half the time aside from a tree I don't think we even really decorated much I could be wrong though I don't to me one Christmas runs into another and I don't really remember them all so I'm not sure but I feel like most of the time we didn't overly decorate kind of trying to keep it low-key, you know, not too many Christmas movies, not too much Christmas music, and stuff like that, but the funny thing is, is now that I'm an adult, and I live alone, and I don't really celebrate, and I don't really decorate, it's like, I want those childhood experiences again, like, I no longer want the quiet, I want the celebration, and... I honestly, I honestly think that I have that Christmas that I was telling you guys about in a previous video, the one where uh, I went over to my Walker's family's house for Christmas, and it was so busy and so fun. I think I have that Christmas to blame because before that invite had come, I was, was completely content with just sitting in my room over Christmas and maybe watching some non-Christmas movies with my roommate if she's even going to be home. Like, I was completely fine with that. And then, and I ended up going and then, and that was like 2016 and then like Christmas 2017, Christmas 2018 and this year, you know, I've kind of been really bummed about the quiet and like even last year when I was super sick and going to and from the hospital and couldn't really celebrate even if there was a celebration I was still bummed
but that's where I'm going to leave this for today because this video is getting really long. I do apologize for getting behind on Vlogmas. All the videos will still be posted, just, and they will be posted before New Year's Eve, just on a bit of an odd schedule. I do apologize, but I'm doing my best to make the best bit of it. I'll see you in the next Vlogmas video.